Welcome to the unboxing of the FJD Tron 3D LiDAR Scanner, a new way to scan your world. And in today's unboxing video, we'll show you exactly what is inside of this box. As you can see, we're really satisfied with the build quality of this hard case. So let's take out the equipment. First up, you've got your charger and your charger plug. Secondly, you've got your cables and this connects your scanner to your power supply. Over here, we have our GCP target uh, underneath your scanner we have our batteries the nice thing about this scanner is that the batteries is in fact hot swappable and you've got about four hours of working capability on the scanner so we take off this cover great and this is the where the power supply is linked All right, and then we've got our strap. And last but not least, our scanner. All right. Next up, let's do the assembly. Let's connect the batteries to the power supply. The nice thing about this scanner is that the battery is hot swappable. This means that if you are scanning and one of the batteries runs out of battery life, you can simply just swap it with a new battery. Next up, let's get this strap connected. That's it, and we can get this positioned around our body in a comfortable way. And then we'll connect the base. So this is what you use to orientate your surveys and your site. And this also makes your survey much more accurate and gives you the ability to see and do proper tests on certain points around your site to see how accurate your SLAM scanner is actually performing. So it's very critical to always install this on your scanner. So I'll pick up my scanner and I'll make sure that it slots in nicely. And I'll turn the screw at the bottom. Okay, you can see it's nice and fastened. I'll put this down. And now I'll connect this power supply. I can now switch on my scanner. So as you can see, there's a small power button on the top. So I'll just go ahead and press that. And to make sure that the power is coming through to the scanner, I'll look on the side of the scanner and see that the light is flashing red. So what I'll do is I'll wait for a constant light and then I'll start to scan. It does take a few minutes before you're ready to scan. So while we wait, let's talk about a few key features of this LiDAR scanner. At 320,000 points per second, the Trion scanner catches high quality scans at 0.8 to 2 centimeters of accuracy. It uses 16 sensors and has a range of around 120 meters. It gives you a real-time point cloud and is used optimally in indoor and outdoor scanning solutions. It's got a dual battery which is hot swappable enabling you to never go a moment without being able to use your scanner. As you can see the light is green which means our unit is on and we have sufficient power to start with our scan. With your purchase of your scanner, you get the FJD Try and Scan web interface application. This gives you real-time visualization of your scanning data, which enables you to actually see what information and data you have acquired during your scanning setup. You also get the MetaHub desktop software, which allows you to do post-processing on, on your data set. It allows you to do classifications for indoor, outdoor, and any other use that you are actually using your scanner for. So let's go to the Try and Scan application 
to start with our Trine 3D Scanner. We first need to just start a new job, create a new project which we'll call Field Test. Field Test. Okay. And as we can currently see, it is initializing and it will take about 15 seconds. It's through. Okay, as you can see, it's already started to pick up points. Because the scanner is in a static mode, it won't pick up that many points. So what we'll do is we'll press this button on the side of the scanner and this will allow it to start rotating. And now suddenly you can see how much more data is actually shown on your TriScan application. Let's go do some scanning. 